first step is going to be to remove the four nuts that hold the two OEM carriers on. Keep in mind if these studs are kind of crappy, you're going to definitely want to clean up the threads before you go installing our new hardware. With the carriers lowered down, now we're going to cut off the OEM carriers. So make a cut on the bottom and the top. That'll allow us to remove the carriers from the bearings. Use a razor blade to cut the rubber all the way around. This will allow us to remove the small metal sleeve. Now we're going to trim down the rubber that's left over. We're going to cut away all the rubber that's in front of the bearing. So feel where the bearing ends and then make a cut directly in, cut everything away. And then we're going to take this high part and cut it down to be level with the lower flat surface. Install the bushings in the new carrier and put the two halves around the bearing with the text facing forward. As you're tightening up the bolts, switch back and forth from left to right so the bolts don't bind in the holes. Now take your stud adapter, put the fender washer on it, isolation damper facing up, then go up through the foot of the carrier, come down from the top with another isolation damper, and then put the small washer up onto the stud. Same thing on the other side, stud adapter, fender washer, isolation damper facing up, go up through the carrier, come down from the top with another isolation damper, and then put the small washer up onto the stud. Now we'll trim the other bearing. Feel for the soft spot in front of the bearing and remove all the material forward of the bearing. Now trim the high spot down flush with the lower flat surface. Now take the two halves of the carrier and clamp them around the bearing. Make sure on this one that that lower half gets the foot up over top of the exhaust from the beginning because you may not be able to do it afterwards. Repeat the process here, stud adapter, fender washer, isolation damper facing up, go up through the carrier, then come down from the top with another isolation damper, put your small washer up onto the stud. You'll notice on this one, there's a lot of corrosion on the stud. As we were tightening up these stud adapters, we found that after a few turns, it started to get hard. You do not want to go in all the way if you're starting to bind. You have a high risk of ruining the stud adapter or the stud itself. So make sure to clean up threads if they're corroded.